All right, we can just come down for a second. So in 19, oh, here he is. In 1995, we used this theater to put on Night Angel, the one-woman musical written by Melinda. And Carmen did all the music. That It was done in this theater. That's why I know about this space. And we have the receptions over there. And Carmen uh, knew Melinda before I did. And then walks to Central Park in his tennis. And uh, came out to South Dakota for our wedding. And was a constant present. He thinks in music. I don't know what Melinda thinks in. You know, someone, says, someone said, I won't say who said it, but we did find one pain with one piece of, piece of clothing on. <laughs> but uh, we have all kinds of music with Carmen, and he's a dear friend of the boys, buying them recorders and drums and whatever happens. So thank you. Frank and Trinket, our neighbors next door, are a uh, second home for our son Robert, their son Byron, uh, the veal sausages and I don't know, whatever else. Uh, I'm not around, Melinda's not around. They are uh, um, uh, there for us. And um, I think that with the, the crowd gathering here, you know, the spectrum of Melinda's life of living in England and, you know, giving it a ball, that's James saying, wait, you know, I'm not coming in. And, um, uh, you know, I think she probably erupted the volcano so that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, for, for um, <laughs> I'd like to say just, just a word about Melinda uh, is, is, is like, was one of the, quintessential citizens of the world. She just thought she lived everywhere. And, and she courageously uh, involved herself with cultures, with whatever culture just uh, was at hand. And uh, uh, the show we wrote together, uh, uh, Night Angel, for example, has a lot of blues in it. And, and it's set in uh, a- uh, Newark bar. A, a bar at, at the Newark, Newark airport, <coughs> about people coming and going, of course, coming and going and going all these different places that she, she would dream of the, these places and then she'd go there and not only, she wasn't a cultural tourist, she was somebody who would go somewhere and, and, and immerse herself in the culture and get, get to, to find out what it is about that culture that is absolutely the, the same, uh, absolutely the same in all cultures. And uh, I really admire her so much so uh, for that. So not only did she have all these art forms and find that, that kernel that's in, in, the, in the center of all those, those art forms, uh, but, but she, uh, she, she, she just knew what, knew the fact that we, we are all one. And she lived that. And, and I, I really appreciated that. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to say that about her.